Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm David Foster. Musicians, never be without your chord charts or set lists again. Ooh, uh, that sounds fancy. I don't know what that means, but welcome to Geek Me. Today we're talking musician stuff. That's why I have David here. Yes. Because he's our musician. The, well, one of the musicians. One of yes. the musicians here at uh, the Geek House. I, as you know, have no musical bone in my body. But I'm excited about new things. And uh, we have actually Johnny and Rich. Uh, you guys are launching a Kickstarter project. Yes, we're launching on Friday. So. Actually, today. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. the future of television. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, today, we're launching today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is today. What's it called and what is it? Well, the app is called 12 Bar, and it is the easiest way for musicians to create chord charts and set lists on the iPad. So basically you're creating, you know, sheets of music um, that you can share with your bands. And you can okay. use it on stage, in the studio, yeah. wherever. You mm -hmm. can use it to practice, you can use it to perform, you can use it to record. And so like wh when musicians, like that's a challenge is getting, because sometimes you don't have time to get together and say, right. okay, these are going to be the songs we're going to work on and all that, so you can kind of get it to them and then they can practice the Are you telling yeah. me musicians go up on stage having never practiced together ever? <laughs> that happens sometimes. <laughs> OMG, that yeah. sounds scary. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm a band leader, so I, I, I lead a, a group of musicians. There's five guys in our band, and so um, a lot of times we're busy during the week. We have jobs and stuff, and so I'll send these guys chord charts during the week, and hopefully they practice them so that when we get together for our practice, we don't have to you know, go through a bunch of stuff and we can get People right into the songs. People kind of all prepared, yeah. Yeah. ready to yeah. go. And there's so many different formats. You can print them out, you can send them as, as Word files. There's like a million ways to do it and none of them are super convenient. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like when I used to follow a couple bands, one of the cool things at the end of the show was to go up and try to get the set list. Right. The bands could actually now email them out to their whole... Yeah, uh, totally. Yeah, you can, you can fan base them. and yeah. share them, yeah. Take a 12 bar screenshot and send yeah. it. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> and if they had the chord charts in the band, then the fans could play the actual songs yeah. when they get home. Yeah. So yeah, that would that would definitely be something that that's, that's pretty cool, cool yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What so, are some of the horror? We're gonna get to the demo here in a second, but um, you guys were saying, and, and I didn't ask you more about it, but uh, like some horror stories up on stage about why and and then the reason why you guys created this. Rich. Well, okay, so we're playing at a honky tonk in downtown Dallas. A honky tonk. Yeah. I didn't know there That's were honky tonks. That's a honky tonk. Oh, yeah. Like honky beer bottle throwing honky tonk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're, You're playing better, behind you the cage. We are in Texas. <laughs> yeah. You say give me the good stuff, they give you a Coors Light. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, so I I've got 26 core charts printed out on pieces of paper and I brought a, a fancy music stand and I was super excited and they put me under a ceiling fan on full blast. So, oh, I can just imagine your papers, your papers are like going everywhere. everywhere. Going everywhere. So, uh, I'm scrambling and I asked the bartender if he's got anything to help me out. He gives me a roll of blue duct tape. <laughs> so every song I took the different sheet music and I would duct tape it to the stand. Oh my god. And when I was done I had amassed this huge ball of blue duct tape right, music used. stand and country western classics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was pretty hilarious. I was on the other side of the stage and watching this happen. It's, it was, it was a, a mess. Oh, and, I can imagine. Yeah, and so um, that was one of the things that led us to create something that you didn't have to do that with. You, so you wanted it on a tablet, for instance, yeah. up there on stage. But that exists already, right? There are some, yeah, there are products out there that um, that allow you to have your your chord charts on your tablet, but you you have to create them outside of the tablet. Oh, so, and then import you it. Them on your computer, import them. Yeah. And they're really just PDF viewers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's all. Yeah. So you're you're creating something in Word, saving it as a PDF, throwing it, you know, emailing it. You got lots of steps to just see it. So show us what you got and okay. why it's so freaking awesome. It is so freaking awesome. <laughs> Um, I love it. I mean, just being able to use it myself right now is awesome. So we uh, we have sections for chord charts and sets at the top and bottom. Um, you can create a new 
court chart and you can put all your metadata in there. So okay. you can, um, we can, we can say, you know, we're going to do, you ain't going nowhere by Bob Dylan real quick. You put Bob Dylan. The key of the song is in the key of G. You know all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was enough sharp, but. I think that's her favorite key. Well, See, yeah. it, I pulled it that out. Be. I just pulled that yeah. out. I don't know if it's right. And it right. could be in F sharp. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've entered all. And you can actually transpose it into F sharp right. after you, you enter it in G. Oh. Yeah. 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 There you go. So we've got all our, all our metadata <laughs> in there, so it creates a new tile on our home screen. You just click that, and you can uh, go in here and uh, let's tap this guy, return, and then we want to paste in our, well, you know what, I'll just say the lyrics, that's, okay. that's even better. Oh, nice. Um, oh, well, here's hold my hand. Radio. Okay. <laughs> I radio hey. You know. Hootie and the Blowfish radio <laughs> right. right? We got, we got hold my hand by, uh, by, uh, by Hootie and the Blowfish here. Okay. So, so you've got you got these chords that you're you're just dragging in to the song, and they you just drag them above your lyrics wherever you nice. uh, wherever you want them to go, and uh, you can modify some chords. So if you need in the key of E, you might need a C sharp minor. Sure. So you just modify it and drop it in C sharp minor right there, ready for you to go. Um, you can add different uh, you know sections of the song. So we want to go, and that's the chorus there. So oh, so yes. like if you, I don't know if you were wanting to kind of replay the chorus during yeah. practice or whatever, yeah. you just hit hit yeah. chorus and, yeah. and you're you, right and, there. And you're right there. And when, okay. you, and when you perform, uh, when you have the the iPad on your mic stand or attached to your mic stand, and you're performing and you're looking at this stuff, um, you'll be able to tap the screen and it'll bump up to the next section. So you're not having to scroll through, you're always at the right section that you need to be in. You oh, make... so it's, it's completely hands off. Yeah, yeah, so when you're nice. performing, you just, like if you're, if I'm a keyboard player, I'm playing and I just tap the screen and it pops up to just the next section. Yeah, so. um, you can make notes on the thing uh, so that you, uh, your bandmates know what to play during the song, so you can say. Like Rich, stop screwing it up kind of thing. <laughs> Rich, yeah. stop screwing it up is actually a frequent note that's not <laughs> in the next <laughs> I just captured you saying, nice. stop screwing it up. <laughs> Great. So that you, you know, and what's awesome is you can say all this stuff in there. So you can say, play the the first verse twice and then go to the course. And you, it, it, play the first verse twice and go to the course. So you have these notes for your bandmates. So when you send it to them, they can just pull up the notes and see them and then play the song. Now, is it collaborative where, like, if, if, one band member wants to change the chord, so the you know go to F sharp or whatever. Yeah, they can do that as well. Or That's is it... coming in version two. Oh, okay. So yeah, so it will be um, once we get once we get this version out, and then it changes on everybody. Yeah, or we could play the same song at the same time, but in a different key if we have an instrument that's tuned down and mm -hmm. funny or, tuning or, or if something. we have a capo. Well, and I've seen like um, I think it's uh, uh, SoundCloud. So if you search for a song uh, and you start listening to it, the, it actually follows the lyrics as you're listening to it. Do you right. guys have any plans to kind of implement something like that so that you don't even have to touch it while you're playing? Yeah, w that's, that's also features that are coming down the line. Yeah. You know, as individual people that are developing an app, we are kind of limited on what we can do. So you guys so. are de developing it yourselves. I mean, you're yeah, doing we are, a yeah. program. It's just me and Rich. I mean, we are literally two guys with a dream. And, uh, and that's the beauty of Kickstarter. Oh, it really is. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and that's one of the things that we're really excited about is that this has been two and a half years in the making uh, the, from, wow. the, from the initial idea and then me designing it all and finally mm -hmm. getting it developed. Um, and so we're really excited about today bringing it to Kickstarter and, and really seeing how the community reacts to it. And how much are you looking for? For funding, um, for funding we're, we're looking for... Uh, 12K. Okay. Yeah, twelve thousand dollars. Twelve bar. Oh, because it's twelve bar. Yeah. On the twelfth. Right. It, you know, and it, it quickly ends on the twelfth of, of next October. Of October yeah. at twelve 
p.m. Nice. So, I mean, you guys say something about the winter or something. Somebody gets a concert in their living room with 12 people for yeah. 12 songs. Yeah, the highest. Yeah. 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 yeah, the highest. The highest incentive level. Twelve hundred dollars um, is uh, me and Rich will come to your living room and play songs for you and tell jokes. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, Rich is. Yeah. So and all of our incentive levels go in twelve dollar increments. So they're okay. Twelve dollars twenty four. So all you guys need to know is the number 12. Yeah. At least it's not, you know, uh, 13, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> 12 is lucky number. Exactly. Yeah. Well, lucky it was 12 bar blues instead of 13. Right, so. exactly. <laughs> well, where can they go? What's the website? Uh, 12barapp.com. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Yeah. And uh, good luck. I. I uh, love to see people, especially locally, yeah. kind of really hitting it hard and going after their dreams. Yeah, well, so, thank you guys yeah. for having us out. Thanks yeah. a lot. It's been a lot of fun. You guys head on over to 12barapp.com. Check it out. And uh, if you're a musician or you want to just support their efforts, go do it. Hey, right. I'm Kelly. I'm David. Bye. Bye.